said, it's Potmos and nice of you to join me as we continue our adventures in Ostriff with our, well, our try for a beautiful town. Of course, that's really subjective. So maybe you think this looks ugly. I think it looks beautiful. So, of course, it's my version of a beautiful town. But uh, let's see. Well, we have our first farm working. Six fields added to it or eight actually, but they're not activated yet. That should be happening as soon as those trees are gone. But at least we are working. We're building some extra houses now, which is a great thing to have. We uh, should be getting extra people into different buildings soon. And uh, hopefully we can just get to work and do a lot of nice things soon. Now we can see that we have a little need for more firewood, but that's because the fire pits here are filled up to uh, produce a lot of firewood. We'll see how that goes. Uh, ah, another village house done. Very nice. So we're building a row of four houses here again too, just like this one. And then we can see how we can uh, try and beautify things here a bit more. Let's uh, take a look at the market here. I think there's room here for another bush. Uh, just to, to cover this area slightly bit more. So uh, yeah, let's make sure that people can walk in freely, but also have some privacy. And uh, maybe we should get a few bushes here too. Just to, to add some, some little things to the area. Still not sure what we're going to do here. Although there is going to be a well, of course. But uh, then I guess there should be some more uh, stuff later on. But first things first, we need to build a few houses. Ooh, we have a field ready. Now that's interesting. Because if we check, we are already growing a lot of buckwheat and potatoes. So we could go for things like weed and combine that with something else. For instance, hemp or flax. I think we're going to go with flax that we can use for clothing. Um, so I think we should activate the field straight away. They can still sow it in so we can get a little bit of weed out of this. That should help out on this farm. And that could make it that we can start to develop this little farm area a bit. So we could go for things like the windmill. Although I'm not sure if this is the right place for a windmill. Um, I have to think about where to place that. I, I do want to get a nice farm area here. And I think one of the ways to get that is to include things like hay dryers. And get a little hay stack there. Um, now, this farm only needs a little amount of hay, not that much. So, let's place it right here. A little hay barracks, so that they can provide for hay on their own uh, farm. If they have to, they don't have to right now, of course. But once they do, they can do that. I think we can place uh, two hay dryers in this area, maybe. Or place at least one right here maybe put it a little bit in the corner see if we can squeeze another one in no we can't okay well we'll leave that one right there now i think in the end we do need two though uh, so we might get one here and have those trees removed or we'll just place one on this side too i think we're going to go with two right here and then we'll just get rid of this one so uh let's get rid of the worker or make sure that she fills it up first. Then during the next winter we'll remove it. We have a visitor from Balaklia. Should we get anything? Well, I think we should get some iron. Quite simply because we need a lot of it. I don't think there's anything that we can sell to them. We're not producing goods to sell except charcoal. So that ain't gonna work. But this is okay. Let's see. Ah, they're filling all the hay dryers. I guess we should get the hay barracks soon so they can fill that up too. And there are a few families struggling to meet the um, required amounts of food, actually. So that might be something we have to take into account. We need to produce more food variety. So that should be the thing for now, to focus a bit on food variety. I hope we can do that. Well, with the um, if we get some flour... We should be able to also get, or should we get some wheat? We should be able to get some flour, but for that we do need a windmill. Um, I, I'm, it's still very unfortunate that we don't have things like a baker. But I think we can place those two mills somewhere here. Or at least to start off with one. I don't know, I don't 
it doesn't feel like that's the right place for the for the mill. Maybe it should be on just right here, and we should get rid of this one. So let's destroy the resources, really destroy, and then get rid of this place. And then let's just build a windmill right here next to the farm, so that everything that comes out of the farm can straight be milled. And then we can put it in here as flour. Um, we're not going to get that much. So we'll, we'll set it up to... Uh, we'll do 500. That might be better. Can we buy some flour or something like that? No, we can't buy any food there. Because then we would have the food variety. Because if we don't meet the food variety needs, of course, people will start leaving. Right, we're going to speed up a little bit because I want to get a few more things done. And what we also could try and do is work a little bit more on this little area. So we've started this. There's an entrance here. So we could just continue the fencing, go behind the, uh, the whole place here. I think that's something that I would like to do. So we'll go here. Then we'll have another opening. Then we'll go this way. And then I think I want... Uh, two openings here. So we'll do it like this. And a fence like this. So here's an extra place where people can get in and out. And then... We can actually place extra market stalls. Um, we'll build one right here. One here too. Not that we really have all that we need to sell there already. I don't think we do, but um, just to give shape to this area. Oh, this one needs to be moved over a bit. It's too far in the corner. I hope we can still fit a tree in here, but we'll have to find out. Yeah, now we can fit a tree there. Can't really fit a tree in here now, so this one has to move over a little bit too. Maybe we should just place the tree first. And then put the market stall next to it. That could work out. Yeah, that works. Alright, then here at the entrance, there should be two big cottonwood trees. Because I just like the way they look. Uh, in here we're going to have a little setting with benches. Like this. Put a little bush in front here. So that's where people can sit. And now the granary area is taking some shape. I like that. The only problem is that if anybody from, uh, wants to go from here to here, needs to walk this way or that way. But, um, well, that's just the way it is. That's how we created it. So that's okay. They just have to do some extra walking. It's not ideal, of course, but as all of you know, this is not about building the most ideal town or most um, impressive town in terms of efficiency. This is all about having fun. And I like it this way. Let's see, how much are we paying? All right, so that's good. We're not paying f full money for the uh, cucumbers, if we can buy them. I'm really curious to see what harvest we're going to get. I do see some cabbage. Balaklia, again. Ah, well then there's nothing that we can get from them. Maybe a bit more iron again. That could work out, but that's about it. Can't get any food from them, so that won't work. Another house is done. That's very nice. That means extra people, although that also poses a challenge, of course, to provide all the different types of food that we want to. These also have... Just one type, two types of food, but they're not complaining about the food variety. These all aren't complaining. There's just one family complaining. We'll see how that goes. All right, we should get some cabbage here. I think some carrots, maybe. I hope we get enough cucumbers, but we'll see. The interesting part is the more fences we make, the more roads we make, or the more areas we fill up, the more the roads will become clear, because the more they will walk over these little areas. Maybe we should fence off this little area so the, the road will go more like this. But I have to see if we can actually do that. No, that's a bit hard. 
Well, what we could do is build some fencing here. Uh, maybe a bit like this. Uh, yeah, a bit like this. All the way to here. And that should prevent them from taking this path. They should now just be taking this path. And if we do the same on this side, at least for a bit, like this, we can actually try and make them use certain routes. Right, this has to be slightly longer. Then we'll leave an opening here. Like this. And now this area is fenced off. This road should slowly start to disappear. And all these people will just walk this way. Then we'll do it like this. Alright, so now this is a fenced off area. And a road should start to form here. And this one should go away. And I think that will look better and better. Ah, harvest is coming in. Perfect time. And they're building the windmill. The hay barracks are completely stacked. That's very good. They have plenty of people to hire, so that's also a very important feature. And as soon as the windmill is done, we can start to produce flour and hopefully meet the needs for the food variety. In any case, we hopefully get some nice harvests here too. That should help out. The messenger from Derkachi. Well, let's sell 5,000 charcoal since we have that. So let's make a deal. That makes us some money. And let's buy 250 flour just for starters. So that we get the food variety up. That's just a very important thing. We still have a lot of trees to be chopped down. But that should be okay. They should just be busy chopping down the trees. They do have a lot of walking to do to get to those trees. That's why wood production and things are a bit slow right now. But once that's done, they can start to chop trees here and then just here. So that should be uh, going faster soon enough. Just not right now. Ah, this area is done now too. So we can do some fencing here. All right, let's fence it off. How are we doing with the fencing? I think we should go a little bit more like this. Yes, there we go. Very nice that we can build longer fences than before. It's not quite there yet, I think. Sometimes I do want even longer ones, but we're getting there. Let's see. Let's just place it right there. And now first go up here. And complete the fence like this. And then connect it. Yes, there we are. Okay. Then we'll try and build some fencing in between the houses. Does that fit in a bit? Yeah, it does. Okay, that's good. Well, this really gives them all their own space. I think they should all be slightly longer because these are a bit short. Ah, we have a warehouse and a cart parking done. Let's slow down again because we're going way too fast and we can't keep up when we do all these beautifications. Ooh, lots of warehouses and cart parking. Let's get carts. Is there anything that we really need to store in a warehouse right now? I think we can store the iron, the metal parts, and the nails in a warehouse. But we'll do this warehouse because this one is the closest to the uh, actual smithy. But then we'll just store like 2500 iron. We can store 100 metal parts. And if we want to, 1000 nails. Let's apply this to all of them so they will all only hire ladies. There we go. And this can now get all the stuff out there. That should be helpful. And ah, we're out of wood. No, well, that's because these are just busy chopping the trees and then they still have to make something out of it. But they have to get the trees all the way over here. There's only just six trees left, so that should work and help out and make sure that things go a bit faster soon. But we should be focused on more housing right now. Now, 
We have only three houses with gardens. We have a few without. I think it's time for a few more houses with a garden. Um, but we're going to customize them a bit. So I think what I'm going to do, let's rotate this, is basically, whoops, that's a bit too far. Whoops, sorry. Let's rotate it back a bit. Yeah, let's hit the F1 button so we can customize buildings. That should be good. Let's go all the way here. Let's go like this. We're going to make some sort of a, a nice alleyway. I think it's it's what we're going to call this. So there should be a house. There should be a small garden with it. Just like this. So they can produce some food. Yeah, this is it. All right, that's one. Now let's build a second one. Just hit the F1 button again. You can just make all the adjustments you want. Make it as nice looking, etc. as you want. This one gets a slightly larger garden. And then we'll have two houses here. Yeah, just like this. Okay. Two houses with a garden here. Then we're going to build another one, but we rotate it a bit. And we will build it also right here. Hit the F1 button. Now, of course, we need to leave some space for this house to actually be there. But if we do it like this, it should be fine. Then we should make this a bit straight out, of course. I think we should make this one a bit smaller so we can fit another house right next to it here. I hope that fits. Make this even smaller. Yep, that's one. Let's fit another one next to it. And then hopefully soon you'll see the whole idea behind what I'm creating right now. I think it will look nice. Let's move the camera a bit so we can see what we're doing. Yes. So now we get uh, a little bit of a road here, some sort of a small alleyway. Then we have these two houses. So there should be houses here that face this side. And then you get really get like small, tiny streets, but you have houses with a garden. So that should be interesting. I'm going to wait off a bit with the rest because I want these houses done first. Uh, let's move this over because we still need to clear the trees first. So let's continue with the uh, housing. Uh, let's see. The mill is now working. We have some flour to spare. Also because we bought some. So we should now have plenty of food for all the food variety. These should be able to buy some flour. Did we already include that in here? No. So we need to, um, to apply to all and apply to... Let's do this. Apply to all. Then put a lady in here and make sure that this is starting to sell some flour. That way people can actually buy flour and get all the food variety that they need. The farm is almost done. The last pieces of harvest are being brought in. So they should now start to work on emptying it out, making sure that everything goes away. What we do need is a small granary. Just because I like the way it looks right here. To get all the wheat stored for the mill. So let's build a small granary right there. Uh, let's keep it in this order. So that we can store all the weed right there. That should be fun. All right. Yep, we're going to sell some flour now. And that should solve all the food variety issues. These are still walking quite far. But we do get some wood. So that's that's moving in the right direction. Let's speed up again a bit too. question is what to make here. Because this is an interesting area, this one and this one, because what should we make here? This should be open for people to go to the granary, so we could leave this area open. We could just extend the street right here with some extra housing. 
But we could also leave a bit of an opening so that people can actually go to different parts of town. I think what we could do is place houses, let them face this direction right here. To create some sort of a street here. Yeah, we'll build a house here. And then we're going to put in some effort to make it even look even better. Now, sometimes I wish I could just turn on that we could see all the different buildings. So I could see what I'm doing. Now I have to do it like this. Then I can see where I'm at. Right, we'll have to go all the way back to here. And we'll go this way. I think, yeah, this should be it. Here we have room for at least more housing. So there's one, two, three. One, two, three. And it also leaves space here for another, um, another some sort of street thing. So like this, then here should be a fence. Yeah, this one needs to be longer. Yeah, it needs to be longer. Sometimes I would like to see some clearer build plans, so at least I know that I'm doing it right. Yeah, now we can see. All right. Well, we can see that this house is quite a bit smaller than these two, but that's okay. That's fine. We have the little alleyway here. That's nice too. There'll be a fence here, so that works. And now this really becomes some sort of an alley. With a street here, street here, then we should build houses here to, to really continue the street. Also this way, there should be a way to walk. So that's interesting. Now we also need some places for wells to provide enough drinking water to everybody. So we should focus a bit on that too. All right, we're already out of cucumbers, but I can see there's a lot of garlic. There's some carrots. There's still a few cucumbers. There's some... Garlic and beetroot here. Horseradish. Oh, interesting. But with the flour, we should be fine. So I'm not going to spend too much more. Now, these aren't doing anything right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell them to supply for oxen already. Not that we're going to have oxen soon. But now they have the time to supply for it. So why not? Let's just have them make sure that they get it all. It won't spoil anyway. All right, let's see. We got the first harvest in. Um, now oh, we can just do wheat and flax here. Then, then that should be fine. Let's activate the field. Then we should get wheat on this field this year and flax on the other field. Perfect. This is completely filled up with how much we want in there. So maybe we should up these numbers a bit so that they can store a bit more because otherwise it will just be in the farm and that's not really where I want it to be. This really is not straight. I don't like it. I believe it was this fence. No. No, no, no. This then probably. Yeah, okay. So, we want to have this quite a bit straight, I think. This is way better. Let's demolish this little piece and this little piece and then we can attach it. But first, let's sell some charcoal again, make some money. Let's get a little bit more iron just to make sure that we keep having enough. And that's all that we're going to need right now. Um, yeah. No, wrong fence again. I always struggle to remember the one that I'm using. All right, that should be better. This is a bit more straight. Getting more houses here. This one needs to move because it still needs a lot of trees removed. But we can now see that these will have to walk not so far anymore because this is closer than where they were. So we can already see that they increase the amount of stuff that's in there already. So let's keep that up. Um, 
Now this is a street like this, but here's the granary, so basically they should be facing the other way around. But what we can do here is just build another set of houses. Also to really create that little street effect here. Um, but I also don't want to make it too big. So yeah, these have a garden. But it's not too big. They can walk around it, so that's nice. I think this is this is looking exactly how I want this area to look. So let's do it like this. Let's move the house here. Make this a bit smaller. Very nice. Okay, there comes another area. Two more houses. Now this is a main street that we should do something with. So let's go with that. Let's get my favorite trees, the birch trees. Now in here we have the trees in the middle and people walk past them. Here we're going to do a different. We're going to place the trees on the edges of the fences here. So basically you're walking in between these trees. And I think that should give a nice effect to it too. Something like this. Um, I don't know, this doesn't feel right to place benches in there. Oh, well, maybe we can place little benches right in position like this. All right, there goes a bench. And then we'll do it from one side to the other. Ah, if we can fit it in, of course. Now we can fit one in right here, I hope. Yeah. There it goes. Nice. I like this. It's not the standard house uh, bench in front of the house. It's, it's like just a little bit out of place normally, but it makes it look different. Of course, now the trees have to grow and we'll have to see how it really develops. And it takes quite some time before those trees are fully grown, but it'll be interesting. Now we're going to need a well somewhere here, and I'm actually hoping I can place it in here, but yeah, that's not going to work. Oh, that's unfortunate. Because that would have been awesome. So we could just get it out of the way. Now we also have the one where we need stone, but then we do need the stone industry first. But then we could build a small well here. Maybe that's worth it. We're just going to try it. The stone mining camp. Let's get the stone mining camp. That should be... Um, hmm, where should we make that? But it doesn't really have to be close to all the other industries, of course. Um, there is a walking path there, so we could place this right here. Oh, there's no walking path there. There is no way they can reach this quickly. That's a problem. Oh, they can. They can go in here and then to the back. But maybe we should leave a little opening here. Let's see. Yeah, that's what we're going to need to do. That's well, quite tough to see with all these trees. Protect. Uh, oh, we've placed those on purpose, but not this one, so remove. Because right now I can't really see. Let's remove these two trees. I want to get rid of this fence, so there's a little opening here. So we're going to get rid of this fence anyway now. Then we can build the uh, stone mining camp right here. We have to place it a bit like this so we can continue the fencing. Uh, we're going to place it on this side. I'm sorry guys, I just have to make a few adjustments. Yeah, this is what I want. Let's get these storage storages here first. We need two. One for stone. And one for limestone. Just like this. Then we can build the fence. No, that's not the right fence, I think. I think we need this one. We can just fence that area off like this. 
And now we can place the stone mining camp here. Just like this. And here will be the entrance to this whole area. And we can hopefully... Is this open? Yeah, that's open. Okay. I don't know if there's going to be a fence here, so we'll have to wait a bit, I guess, until the building is done. Let's move it over, though, because I want to get to those stones so that we can build the other... Um... Ooh, let's get some warm clothing, by the way. I want to get to the uh, point where we can get some stone so we can get the other well here. Let's place it already. Um, so I think we should place uh, two nice bushes here in the area. Then get the stone well where people can actually just get the water out of it. But we first need some stones, of course. We can move it over though because they can get stone pretty quickly. That should make that area of town look a lot nicer. Although, wow, this is not really that straight. Look at this. This is way smaller than this area. Well, the house is smaller, so that's probably why. And it's just my view that things should be straight, which they should not. I think it's nice if things aren't perfectly straight. So that's, that's okay. And we can always remove this and then uh, do it again later on. But I think I like the fact that it's a bit not straight. I do like this little area though, with this little backyard here, or back, back, I don't know, backyard's not the right word because that's just a garden in, in the back here, but little back alley. And uh, we're going to create some streets here once all the buildings are done. Doing the same out here. Hopefully this road will disappear soon. And we'll see a new road appear like this. That would be so nice. All right, let's speed up a bit. I want to see more people incoming. 77 people already, that's actually not a bad pace. I would have thought that would go a bit slower, but we're doing quite good. We are also going to need a new farm soon to keep up with farm production. So that might also be something to start planning. I mean, here we get the town, so we could either get a few fields here or a lot of fields here and here, maybe. We'll just have to make sure we don't expand too quickly. That should really help out. Ah, here comes another house. Very good. Maybe we can do the school or something in this area. To keep make keep look this looking like some sort of a street, but um, still a little bit different. And what I'm also thinking, we can extend this a bit more. So that we get more of an area like this. And then build an extra well here. So that we'll have two. And then the people can just go in here and get their uh, drinks. But we could also create maybe a gazebo in here. Or is it? No, that doesn't fit. But benches should fit. So we could create a little sitting area here. Where they can sit and relax and have some fun. Maybe plant an apple tree. So they have some shade. All right. Yeah, people already start to sit here. So everybody can get water here. And they can sit and relax. We need carts first. Did we set the uh, carpenter on preemptive repairs? Yes. Oh, there comes the first mining cart already. That's quickly. Uh, we don't need limestone yet, so I'm just going to focus on some stone first. We'll put two workers in there. And now they should already be able to go somewhere. Or all the stones are on the other side of the river. That could also be the case. No reachable stone deposits. Can they reach some limestone? I'm not sure. Um, but we have to build a bridge to actually reach some stone, apparently. Here we have limestone. There should be some normal stones here, I guess. Yeah, okay. So we need to build a bridge somewhere. It's a bit early, but I guess we have to if we want to get to those deposits. 
Are there deposits on these slopes too? Because then we don't have to get... Then it doesn't matter, then we can build a bridge here. But I guess we have to go to this island, that specific place. Because yeah, there's no stones anywhere here. There are the stones. No stones here. Yeah, so we need to get to this little piece of island. That's where all the resources are. So we'll have to build a road somewhere here. Okay, well, at least we know. So that's where we have to build the bridge. Merefa. I don't see any uh, stones here. Maybe we can just import some stones. That could also work. But for now, it is what it is. All right, we're building more of the housing here. I think we should start to think about more industries as well. And we do need some clothing industry soon, which could maybe go in this area. Um, but for now, that's just going to be fruit for thinking. Because this is going to be it for this episode. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel. Leave all your comments in the comment section. I will respond to them. And then, of course, I hope to see you in a brand new video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.